Hi, Gary Galka from DAS. All right, so you just purchased an APFD processor. The APFD processor is a device that will assist you with your spirit box sessions. It will allow you to hear things more clearly. It will allow you to rewind things in real time. You can pause, you can resume, you can play things back slower so that your mind can translate what you hear. It's a very versatile tool. It has filtering in it to elevate the sound of your responses. It has volume control, a whole host of useful tools that most of us have been missing during our sessions. It will allow you to become more proficient in hearing and deciphering spirits as you communicate with them. So essentially it's an ITC device. Let's open up the box and see what we have. Everything that you need to get started is inside this box. We have our basic APF. We have our cabling. We have a rechargeable nine volt battery. We have Velcro and we have Bluetooth transmitters and receivers. This is the instruction book. Everything is well laid out. Very clear step-by-step -step instructions right here. Let's take a look at the APF processor. When you receive it, you'll take it out. You'll check it to make sure everything is okay. We will be testing these 100% when they leave our facility. The top, we have an OLED display. We have our function buttons here, our function button LEDs, which indicate which buttons have been pressed during your session. We have user instructions, which are very well detailed here. Underneath the display, we have our start and stop. We have speed, high pass filter, noise filter, and volume. So not only will this provide a whole host of useful tools, but it will also be used to remove unwanted sweep noise, which allows you to separate the spirit responses much easier. On the side, we have an internal speaker. This is where your speaker sound will be coming from. On the top, we have our audio input here. On the bottom, we have our audio output. And on the back, we have our nine volt battery hatch. This is where your nine volt battery in the kit will go. Okay, so there's your APFD processor. And again, this is just a simple unpacking of the box right now. There will be many useful videos that will help you to use it. In fact, there are many useful YouTube videos already posted on this device, along with many spirit responses. Let's put that aside. I had mentioned that it comes with a Bluetooth transmitter and receiver. There's a couple of reasons for that I'll point out. One will be a transmitter, a TX, and one will be an RX, a receiver. The transmitter will be attached to your spirit box. It'll work with the SB7, SB11, the SB7 Pro. It'll work basically with any spirit box you have as long as there's an audio output to it. If there's not an audio output and you're clever or you're technically inclined, you may want to attach a 3.5 millimeter uh, output jack to your speaker or other uh, audible source. So one of these will go to that. The other one will go and attach to the APF processor. What this does is it creates a connection between your device and the APF. You do not have to hold the spirit box in one hand and the APF in another. So it makes it useful for you there. But more importantly, there's another reason for this. We have found it will actually help you uh, in getting better responses. Also, 
it disengages some of the mutual interference between a potential source, a radio source, and my high-speed read-write SD card, which is inside the APF processor. Okay, let's put those aside. We had mentioned the 9-volt battery. The 9-volt battery is 800 milliamp hour battery. It has a USB connection on the end. Be sure to charge your battery and your Bluetooth transmitter and receivers before use. This battery will give you approximately two to four hours of continuous use. We have a couple of pieces of Velcro here. The Velcro is used to attach your Bluetooth transmitter to your spirit box. And another piece would be attached to your Bluetooth receiver, which then gets connected to the APF on the side over here. Cabling, let's take a look. We have two short cables, approximately four inches. One goes to the Bluetooth transmitter and one goes to the Bluetooth receiver. We also provide another auxiliary, 3.5 millimeter audio cable, which can be used on the audio output of your APF in case you want to go to a remote speaker like our X1, which is an amplified speaker with adjustability for sound separately. You could also take this and take the audio output and go to a line input of your digital recorder if you have a line input function. This is a charging cable, 4-in-1 charging cable. This would go to your 5-volt USB charger, and then these would be used to charge your 9-volt battery, your Bluetooth transfer and receiver, and if you have our X1 speaker, you can also charge that. So you can charge four things with one charger. Very useful cable. Okay, that concludes pretty much what's in the kit. We do have a little Bluetooth instruction manual here, how to use your Bluetooth transmitter and receiver. Okay, this concludes our unpacking of the APF box. The APF processor will be available for everyone by the end of June. Thank you for watching.